What's up, y'all? Happy November. Happy new moon. We've got some powerful energy today. The date is 11 1 1 1 1. We have new moon in Scorpio. It's a new chapter. We are wrapping up all that energy from eclipse season. So let's dive into the energies. I'm Sable Danielle, a human design coach and self discovery enthusiast. And let's wait no further. <laughs> Today is 11 1 2024, and today is not just about the new moon in Scorpio, it's also a portal of transformation. It's a time to focus on intentional living. Today, we're going to explore how the numerology of 111 and the potent energy of the Scorpio new moon work together to support our fresh start after the eclipse season. So let's start with the energy of the new moon. In astrology, every new moon is a time for new beginnings, new intentions, and aligning for what's to come. And this one in particular is special because it's in the sign of Scorpio, which Scorpio is a sign of transformation and rebirth and depth and embracing our inner power. And we're leaving behind eclipse season and this darker, heavier energy of like, shedding to recreate yourself and allow yourself to grow into a stronger um, version of yourself. So let's dive a little deeper into what Scorpio means. Scorpio is about diving deep and facing your inner truths. It's about authenticity. Um, Scorpio season is also a time to shed old layers and move forward with who you are um, with a more clear vision and more clear intentions. Having a new moon in Scorpio can feel intense because Scorpio is already a tense type of sign, um, but it's in that intensity that we find our true growth and the growth that really impacts us in a positive way if we allow it to. So this moon encourages us to let go of our past, the limitations, the fears, the pressures, the um, storylines that we told ourselves that held us back. It's time to dive into our shadow, do some work, and reclaim the parts of ourselves that we might have, you know, lost in the midst of life and just dealing with things and being conditioned and affected by our experiences and our environment. So now let's look at the numerology of today's date, November 1st, 2024. So first and foremost, we have 111, a triple number, and that magnifies the energy of new beginnings and spiritual alignment and manifestation. And in numerology, 111 is considered a manifestation portal. So this powerful number is like, a green light from the universe to go ahead and manifest this new version of you. What does this journey look like? What do you want it to feel like? What do you need to do to help it, um, align your energy and allow it to come into fruition? 111 is also a very intuitive number. It's a reminder that you're aligned with your higher self and that now is a time for you to tune into your intuition and allow it to be your guide um, for your next steps forward. When you see 111, it's a time to allow you to remember, I guess, to think about what you're manifesting, like actively in the moment. If you see 111, what were you thinking about when it popped up? Um, think about your dreams, your intentions, and are you energetically aligned to bring that forward right now? Also, with the number 11, which happens twice in today's day, it's a master number in numerology. And it's a call for spiritual growth and enlightenment. And number one in numerology is all about, you know, new beginnings, leadership, individuality, and so combined, 11-1 carries the energy of self-discovery, transformation, awakening. Again, you know, focusing on the keyword and the energy of Scorpio season, transformation, self-discovery, rebirth. Um, yeah, so those are very important right now. And the new moon's placement in Scorpio brings a very 
unique, you know, perspective to the numerology. Like I said, the 11-1 creates an energy of transformation, and that's very much in alignment with Scorpio. Scorpio is a water sign. It's ruled by Pluto, which Pluto is the planet of transformation and rebirth and shadow work. So with this new moon, it's like encouraging us to really dig deep and confront the things that we've been avoiding, confront our shadows, confront what we've been running from, and to really embrace you know, the power of transforming and allowing ourselves to truly be just who we are without the external conditioning. So just truly be our authentic selves. And Scorpio energy is also very magnetic. It encourages us to look at what needs to change and what we've outgrown. Also, things that we need to let go in order to move forward, things that are no longer aligned with us, things that you know, it doesn't make sense to bring with us to this new elevated version of ourself and elevated version of life and this new elevated chapter that we are now entering into. Mars is the traditional ruler of Scorpio. So this adds an assertive type of energy, which allows us to be encouraged and to take action, intentional action, um, to help bring things into fruition. So it's not just about dreaming, it's about actually taking the tangible steps to bring, you know, to make our dreams a reality and create the future and the reality that we actually want to live. So here's a journal prompt to help us through this. 